let's learn how to use the orange ball. Today we're going to learn how to use this ball. It's my favorite massage ball. You're going to use it on your hips and your psoas muscle. Let me show you what the sacrum and tailbone looks like since that's the first area we're going to work on. Here's a picture of the sacrum. It hooks into the SI joints or the hip bones. As you massage through the sacrum area, you're going to be mostly on ligaments, but also get into the tailbone because the tailbone can cause a lot of problems in your body. So let's go. Here's the orange ball. You're just going to take it. You're going to put it under your hips and then you can roll around on it if you want. But my suggestion is just to do different leg lifts or put your legs straight out or down and then you can feel the pressure of the orange ball going right into your hips and sacrum. It's pretty simple. That's it. Next is bicep. We're going to be learning the short head of the bicep or the medial bicep. Let me show you a picture here. As you can see, we have a short head and a long head. We'll be working on the inside one or the medial bicep. You're going to bring your hand all the way in and you can just massage from here and look for the sore spots. Or if you want to do pin and stretch, you're going to put pressure on that. Then you're going to drop the arm out. And as you do this, put pressure down here extend and you can feel that stretch going on in that bicep. Now when that bicep tightens down it does things like roll your shoulders forward because of where it hooks into your scapula. You're going to find that that muscle twists things forward. As you're massaging it it's actually going to open up your shoulders and make you feel like you've got better posture. So give that a try. Next we're going to learn how to massage the side of your neck or your scalenes. So the muscles that we're working on go from here, kind of under the jaw, down in behind your clavicle and hook into the ribs. Now when these tighten, they can cause problems with you turning your head. You notice this usually when you go to drive your car and you can't turn around to see the cars behind you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put pressure. You can use lotion or massage oil and we're just going to drag down the outside of your neck. Let me show you a picture of what they look like. As you can see in this picture, these are the scalenes. They go from below the jaw and under the ear here, down into behind the clavicle, into those first ribs. Remember, just drag down the side and do the massage on that. Next, we're gonna learn about the temporalis. It's on the outside of the head here. It looks like a fan and it comes down, goes behind your zygomatic arch and attaches into the coronoid process of the jaw. Let me show you a picture. As you can see in this picture, the temporalis is a fan-like muscle that goes on the outside of the head. This is where you get your headache in your temples. So to massage that, we're just gonna do little circles here you probably already do this on your head, but now you know why. Our goal here is to move the scalp and not the hair, if you have hair. But we're gonna get in there and you're gonna go as deep as feels good and just do these little circles here and massage right through the temples. This is gonna help release some of the pressure through your face, your head, your neck, and into your jaw. 